place in the last four. Okay, so England's next opponent. Hey guys, welcome to oh shit, welcome to the World Cup game. This is already a success for them. Did we expect them to make the quarterfinals? Um, no, we didn't, if we're honest. But playing they played chili. ever so well here. They've got to this stage. Let's and see. now, quietly, they'll be fancying themselves to maybe cause one or two more shocks along the way. Okay, Ian, I understand what you're saying. With all that, though, taken on board, give me a prediction now. Who could, could win this match? Well, put Chris I'm Smalling going to here. Go for England. Ah, very interesting from Ian Dark there. I wonder how his predictions will pan out. Get let's put him there because he's got. Now you and I have been out of Brazil for a few weeks, and it's very, very hot. We are quite near the equator. I don't know if you noticed. <laughs> hey, you speak for yourself. Now, <laughs> and the Amazon jungle. <laughs> <laughs> well, that, I mean, this is the thing. The thing that strikes you as soon as you get off the plane, as soon as you're walking about, it's so hot, it's so humid. And, of course, famously, we've talked about it so many times, that no European has ever, ever won the World Cup when it's been held in South America. Yeah. Although there hasn't. I'm with Andy Townsend here. It's a match to decide who goes through to the World Cup semi-finals. Lots at stake, lots of pressure. Let's hope we get a great game. Real sense of occasion here at Arena Fontanova. There always is, but particularly for this one. Yeah, beautiful day for the beautiful game. Kick off not far away, but first the anthems of Chile and England. So much anticipation surrounding this match. Uh, a quarter-final that would have graced the final itself. Whoever wins it will believe they can go all the way in this World Cup. And you have to be prepared to go the distance, Clive. This could go to extra time and penalties. Chile on South American soil. This is as good a chance as they're going to have to win a World Cup final, surely? Yes, you would think so. I mean, and they've got some really good players operating in the best leagues in and around Europe. Gary Medell, of course, we see in the Premier League. We see Alexis Sanchez in La Liga. They are top players, and they can have a real impact here. The uh, referee is Greg O'Millan. Did you hear the failure they made right at the start? The start of the World Cup quarterfinal. We've seen Sanchez in La Liga and Gary Medell in the Premier League. <laughs> that was just a lack of concentration. Sir, uh, fucking the hilarious. Throwing, take it instantly. I haven't played this game guard. in like ages, so you have to excuse me for any Watch mistakes made. Or if we get knocked out. But anyway, freaking hilarious. England have got to try and control the ball. They've got it again. <clears throat> Go on, Rooney. It's danger when he gets into shooting range. Yeah, time to panic when he starts to get a little bit closer to the goals. Has a chance here. Ooh. Blocked it. Desperate defending. Go on. Suazo. Matty Suazo Fernandez. was top scorer at one point. Walcott. To Walcott. Gonzalez. Didn't even know who that is. There's like two of them if you saw in the lineup. Theo Walcott. <gasps> oh! Didn't even see him. Who the hell was that? Was that storage? It was random. Walcott. 
lose the ball like that. Use his head. Intercepted well. Red is opponent <coughs> there. Pizarro. Suazo. Has it back straight away? Come on. They broken up. Possession changes hands. Come on. Now Lampard. Come on, Lampard. Now, will he get the ball over? Thank you. Referee has signalled an England corner. Oh shit. Awful corners in this game. Oh, Just too close to the goalkeeper. I nearly had a heart attack when I say that. I thought I was getting a score. Swazo. Theo Walcott. Thank you, Walcott. Now Wayne Rooney. This is Glenn Johnson. Rooney. Barely caught out of position. Here's Glenn Johnson. Here we go. England coming forward. He's had a go. I thought I'd take a shot outside the, the box. This is Gary Cahill for England. Roll back towards Joe. Oof. Imagine if it just looped over the goalkeeper. I'd be laughing. Good place to win the ball back. Now, what can they do with it? Oh. It'll take more than that to beat him. Here we go. Here we go, Sterling. We stood firm. Fuck. It'll be a oh, had it. Here's a goal. <sighs> Block the shot. Rather anxious clearance. And the fourth official is indicating there will be four minutes amount in time. Pizarro. Now Theo Walcott. Oh, here, here we go, Walcott. For possession. Suazo. Von Sterling. coming forward there may be something on here every time I try and do that it never works first 45 minutes ends with the score nil nil I've enjoyed that opening 45 minutes it's ever so even Clive it's uh, anybody yeah. out here the uh, manager's making a substitution hoping to find a way to change things and win oh. this match Ready for the off again, underway once more in this World Cup quarter-final. Rooney can beat a man, can he? No way through. On one. Thank you. Oh, penalty, penalty! That was nowhere near a penalty, but I'll fucking take that. Fuck, let's see. Let's see on the replay. For a Gary Rooney Medell. Like a penalty, and this could take the game away from them. No complaints because he knew he was always struggling to make that challenge, Clive. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Do the chicken dance. Look at Big Roy. And it's a goal that England's play has merited. It gives them the lead. Yeah, good. The and they deserve it. They've played really well up to now. It's a goal that's put England ahead. I agree, we, we've been playing well up to now. Gonzalez. Oh, what the tackle a tackle. In. Chance to get back into it. Corner kick. Managers making a substitute. Bizarro's coming off. Find a way to change things and maybe save this match. 
Stay to be hit. Getting out. I nearly had a heart attack. Knew it. And now he's left. You fucking idiot. You fucking idiot. He ran too soon and he's offside. Ooh. What can Chile do here? Got the ball. Wow. What a tackle. Pinpoint accurate tackle. Lost the ball here. Oh, that's clever. Sterling. What can he do here? Oh, yeah. Look at Turkey Neck. Yeah, and everyone's gone wild. Let's make a few subs. Let's put him on Ross. Put him on for... For Fingy, or whatever the fuck his name is. <laughs> Lol. Um. Let's put a wall back on too. For Raheem Sterling. That it's taken so long, they have a constant goal threat. Well, the goalkeeper's been under constant pressure, hasn't he? And I'm afraid he's succumbed there. That's Triple Sam. So, quite a few changes being made by the manager. I knew he was going to make a comment. What I like about this goal, Clive, is the composure. Look, he doesn't lash out at it, he just glides it into the corner of the goals. Wow, what a tackle. Henderson. Like Henderson in the um, CDM position. Wow. Well back. May lose it here if he's not careful. Rune! Oh. England have won a corner. Let's see if I can do the crowd the goalkeeper. Not a corner that really tested the defence, was it? No. Oh. He loves to run with the ball, doesn't he? Oh, Rooney. Rooney. Just lost control of the ball there. Oh. Silver. He takes some stopping when he's in full flow. Valdivia. Oh, I'm going to go defensive. We don't need to rush, but we can go for a few goals if we want. Looking to find Alexis Sanchez. Offside, I'm afraid. I think he Offside. Check the run. That's not the smartest of runs forward, is it? He was easily... Ah, offside. there's something off Sanchez. What are they doing? What are they doing? a tactical change. It's an attempt to salvage something from this... Barkley. Oh, my God. Valdivia. Suazo. Oh. Bring away from the defender. Matty Fernandez. Oh, what a tackle. Go more back. Okay, Man. now. Nearly Get killed me, you bastard. Suazo. Valdivia. Some defenders have an instinct for danger. He's won. Couldn't get through. Silver. England 
have made it. They're heading for Brilliant. the semi-finals. Nothing and nobody was going to stop them here. England have now shown, Clive, they've got real quality. They're genuine contenders to win this. Hope you've enjoyed this quarter-final. The tournament think really same cutscene as we'll see all of time. the others. It's all about score 13 goals over the course of the World Cup Finals. Let's do the um, can we see like no, we can't. I'll say because I didn't deserve to be a penalty, but we've got. Argentina next game let's do the practice bullshit <laughs> um Welcome back, and of course, uh, just four teams remain, and more importantly, one of them is in second. Legitimately, how is Lampard rated crappier than Gerald? Lampard is miles than I think it should be the opposite way around. The World Cup, but they have, and that's, I think, the glorious uncertainty of sport. England have confounded everybody by making it this far, and who's to say? The story isn't going to go even further. OK, so England's next opponent is Argentina. What are your thoughts on them, Ian? Well, this is a class side, and we expected them to be Sake. in the last four. They are in the last four, and they're playing well. They've got a lot of players, too, with experience of this level of competition. But this is going to be a very intense occasion, a very nervy occasion for them, and certainly for their fans as well. But they're looking super strong, and, and you've got to like them a lot. OK, Ian, I want you to take a deep breath, have a think, don't rush in, and tell me... God damn. Match. I'd go for Argentina. OK. Wide oh, words bloody, that was hard. <laughs> and of course, we're going to see how his predictions pan out. Wow. Before we do that shit, let's check top Time scores. Time for some more of your text tweets and emails. This one's coming in. I don't know if this is a place or a person. Gerald. Bessie Park. It's mm. a great name. You like that? Yeah, it's a great wow. name. It's nice. Kind How's of Ian's tan progressing? Can well, I'm the only person I know that looks worse than the tan. Oh, you look cool. the Kentavera, I don't know. And Buffon's got the most clean sheets. Marquez, there's loads there. Say, yes, and Aaron's okay, on yes, one. Down on the beach, all right? Just walking along. I, of course, have a shirt on. Ian's taken his off, all right? Just to get this out. He actually Let's asked see. me to put Factor 50 on his back. You're, put, you're putting her off now. And I did you know it. that, wow. didn't you? Wow. <laughs> Italy beat France. Italy. You owe me for that. Are in the you finals. Not making up these stories for the radio show. I'm it. not sure if that you if they played that game. Everybody, Let's um, see. Make sure Let's look at the camera. Use plenty of sun cream when you're in hot climates like Brazil. God, well done. Yeah. <laughs> like that. That's like a medical disclaimer, <laughs> isn't it? <laughs> there you go, Betsy. I hope that answers your question. Loads more still to come, including the very funny tale yeah. of how one Italy young lady played here in Brazil really did beat them two one. Was my so. We'll see you in a second. We play Argentina. But yeah, guys, um, we hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I shall see you.